We are here with uh, Tier 2, Week 13, Taterbots versus uh, Eclipsed Academy. So, uh, yeah, I am your commentator for today, CB, no, joined by done. Lady of Siren. Say hi. Hi. Alright, so we're going to be starting things off on Lijiang Tower uh, Control Center. So, uh, I'm expecting more of a Rhine, you know, slow kind of brawly comp going on for these guys, uh, especially because of this map right. right here. You can't really go with any dive. Um, yeah, just as I expected, you got the Rhine and Zarya and stuff like that coming from them. And of course the Genji, because, you know, Genji is meta. Alright, we're testing out the pause feature, I guess. I was scared because I thought, like, I pressed something and then I was like, oh no. <laughs> Nah, uh, it's just for the people in uh, charge of the server. I was scared, like, I thought I did it. a bad thing. <laughs> nah, you're good. Okay, oh. so we're gonna be heading into this. They're running the Rhine Arissa, uh, uh Tater Bots, that is. What do you think about that, compared to the Rhine Zarya? I think the Rhine Zarya is a little bit more stronger, because the Zarya can be a little bit more aggressive, and same with the Rhine, if they play together. But with the Rhine Arisa, Arisa's a little bit more stationary. She won't be able to get far. Yeah, it's all about point control here, and I mean, they have the point control right now, but they're giving it up very quickly. Fireshark being thrown in, uh, it takes a few people down, a couple notches of health. Uh, Sombra just trying to build up that EMP right there, but the Rhine for Taterbots is falling very low. Zarya hacked though, and Snoops is just taking out Maka right there, uh, and uh, yeah, they're just gonna clean it up. Kakiga and Snoops just, you know, taking out a couple more people right there, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be the first point control for uh, Eclipsed. Double shield is going to work here because, as you see, the Rhine Zarya is just a superior comp over in this one. Yeah, um, I mean, it would have worked if they would have taken first point, like first control, but as you saw, they once they you know pushed in with the Zarya bubble, they quickly took control. And there is the huge slam taking down a couple of people. Uh, Kakiga ends up hitting Coco, so that's just going to be a couple people down because Snoops taking out uh, Polish, and uh, yeah, that's just going to be it. Uh, for that fight, they're gonna have to regroup and spawn, and they're pretty much just spawn capping them right now, right outside this door. Yeah, that shatter was a little really, like, an early shatter. Like, they probably could have saved that for a really bigger push than what happened there, in my opinion. Yeah, um, I don't know how to feel about the Sombra. Like, it, like, it feels like it could work if you build the MP, but the MP has been so slow. Like, the Dragon Blade was built before that, and, uh, speaking of that, Weggy uh, is, or Wegzy, is taking out Newt, uh, Newt, so, or Mute, I cannot pronounce these names, so I'm sorry. And there's the hammer down, taking out a couple of people. Uh, Colas is also being thrown in, keeping people up. Bullet and uh, Wegzy is just gonna be taking out, you know, the brigand Ryan. So it's just the final stand with the Zarya, <laughs> Junkrat, and uh, this Moira, and it's just not gonna last very long. Taterbots are gonna be taking this point, 77 to 0. Is definitely 100% right, and it is correct. The Sombra ult is a very big ult that you can build, but like you have to build it fast so you can get that push on that enemy team really quickly and get those picks. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if she catches this, uh, oh, well, I that's not what I thought she was gonna do. I was hoping she would go for the uh, before Brig was gonna ult. You know, catch both supports, but I mean, she just kind of forced to use it because the Zarya and the Rhine and literally everything was just being thrown at them. They had no choice but to pop it. And uh, now, as you can see, they're just trying to stay alive with the coalescence. And actually, the like, Brandis is getting uh, taken out the brig right there. That could be a huge pick, and yeah, they are winning this fight. And here comes the. Uh, Little Bongo coming down, Slam takes down a couple of people, and they actually win the fight, even though it looked very bad at the start. It really did, I have to agree on that one. The EMP was a little bit um, awkward, I thought, like you said, they were going to EMP to get both um, support alt, so that they couldn't have that support back up, but they unfortunately did it a little too late. Mm -hmm. um. I mean, it wasn't the worst EMP of the scene. It stopped people from using abilities to follow up on the grab. But uh, anyways, here comes the blade in, <laughs> in one swipe. Mute is taking out three, I mean, two people, and he also follows up on Coco. So uh, that's just going to be an instant team wipe. And, you know, that's what you get whenever you get a kind of cracked Genji. Massive. And this might be the 
oh. can stop the rest of their push here, honestly. Yeah, there's a rip tire. Nah, Shatter also comes down, and that's just gonna be a quick, easy GG, 66 to 100 on the side of Eclipse. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go into the next round here. Uh, what do you think Taterbots can do to, uh, you know, pull this next round out? I feel like the Sombra is a good pick, but at the same time, it's hard to keep, um, or it's hard to build that ult up really fast, depending on, like, who's playing her. But, um, seeing that they have a Farah now, they might want to get the Farah Mercy going, because that's a lot of damage right there. So if they can actually get the pocket for her, which it seems that they are, they can definitely probably win this point, and I hope to see that they do, because that's a lot of damage from just the Farah themselves. Yeah, this is a very good Farah map. I was honestly, uh, you know, last point, I really think they should have ran the McCree instead of the Sombra to just stop uh, Mute in his tracks. But I mean, you know, that's last point. We'll see how uh, this pharmacy battle in the sky works. I mean, they're, you know, just trading rockets back and forth. No one's really getting the upper hand here in this sky battle. Meanwhile, Taterbot's on uh, on the point right now. They have the control. They're going to be defending this little choke on the inside. So, I mean, depending on who wins this sky battle, this could turn the fight on the inside. But Maka is going to be the first to fall. And, uh, you know, Mew is just uh, kind of popping on this Genji. He's just taking people out left and right. Taking out the Sigma and the Moira. Uh, I mean, yeah, they just take first control so easily. and it seems that Snoops is going to be a little bit more superior here. I think Polis should probably switch. He's probably get that counter for their Farah. Because they're, they're Farah, which seems that they are getting a switch. They're getting on that Widowmaker. I don't know how well that's yeah. going to work, though. Yeah, I, I, I don't know about this Widow switch. I would honestly rather see the Ash, because she can at least uh, have a bit more... Mo she has the same amount of mobility with the coach gun, but she can also deal group damage with that dynamite, unlike Widow, so I think that would have been a better option, in my opinion. But anyways, here's the blade, and uh, yeah, huge shatter also coming down. Uh, it's going to be blocked off by the ice wall a little bit, but Polish is taken out too in the back. It's all evened up. As a matter of fact, I think Taterbots are winning this fight. Oh, it's even again. The two picks on the Farah you know, and the Mercy was just them made what they needed to get that push not that far and just rainy damage. Yeah, they're still fighting in this little neutral game right here. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to go for them, but here's the Shatter being blocked by the Maywall. Actually, pretty heads up play from uh, Maka, that is. And uh, I mean, Polish yet again is taking out the Farah. She's falling straight into the river, so I mean, there's no way she's going to get rezzed. I mean, this this uh, widow has all the sight lanes in the world right now. Yeah, definitely, just going completely uncontested now that you were going on the tracer. Yeah, the tracer's trying to pick him up, and she does manage to find polish. So now she's going to be in the back line, trying to take out this mercy here. However, Mercy is just going to fly across the river, and <laughs> I mean, this Tracer is just relentless. Hammer goes down, and nothing is found, but I mean, it doesn't matter, because they take it a clean 100 to 0. Oh, that was, uh, that was not the best from Taterbots, I'll be honest. Yeah, um, honestly, I'm a little surprised that they didn't get that second point off when they got the fire and the Mercy. It was a really big pick. They probably got to push a little bit more harder. Yeah, uh, I think Mew just found too many key picks with his blade on, on the inside fight, and even if Polish was just taking down people, it didn't matter, because they had the neutral fight won on the inside. Yeah, I agree. I'm just surprised that they lost that, quite frankly. I really thought they were going to win it. Yeah, I mean, in any case, uh, it's 1-0 to zero for Eclipsed, and uh, we're going to be heading on over to our next map. We're going to see if we have any swaps, actually, coming from uh, the teams. So we'll see if uh, maybe Crowder comes in. I'm, or... I have the chat open, so I'm just paying attention. Yeah, that's all the subs they have. <laughs> but uh, it's looking like our next map is going to be Blizzard World.
you could run the dive here, but uh, I mean, honestly, maybe maybe double shield's pretty good here too. The double shield's good here too. Like even like an Ash for the defensive alt for Bob, keep him on the point. That'll be good too for defense on Blizzard. Even like again, the double shield will work as well. A Fara will work. Anything could possibly work. A May Sim. Like there's a lot of possibilities here. Yeah, I think the possibilities are pretty limited on third point, but I mean, the first two points are just so open that you can get away with running anything, like you said. I mean, it, um, sort of hit scan because maybe uh, Snoops is feeling it on that Farah still, and uh, we'll see. I'm really excited to see what comes from this map. I'm excited to see what. Mute is going to play in Maka and Polish. Like I'm excited to see what both DPS players are Ready going to be playing. Okay, so Ash. we're seeing double shield from both teams, and uh, yeah, we are seeing the Ash. Uh, Snoops is going to be playing the Hanzo though. So, I mean, and if you're looking at the long range battle, oh, actually, you have double sniper here. I mean, if you're looking at the long-range battle, obviously Taterbots has it in the bag, but, I mean, how are they going to counter this Genji? I'm not sure. You have Rock and you have Moira existing, but, uh, I mean, it's still going to be hard if she jumps on any one of these hit scans. Yeah, definitely. Jumps on agree. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how this works. We'll see if we have any last-minute swaps, actually. But, uh, nope, they're just going straight in there. Um... I think I prefer the Orisa Sigma, if I'm being honest, rather than the yeah. Rhine Sigma. I prefer Orisa Sigma. It just makes more sense the mobility moves a lot in, and a lot better. Like, you just have that Sigma. Yeah, plus there's more push. peel. Yeah. I'm surprised Ooh. to see a Zenyatta. Maka is just taking out Mute. That's pretty huge. That's the first opening pick onto the Genji, and Bullet is also taking out Snoop, so I mean, they have no damage. They need to back up and uh, not get any more staggers. That Zen is falling very, very low. Uh, he's gonna have to back out before they spot him. Well, actually, Rao is uh, gonna be finding a pick. Ooh, they're, they're, they're finding the picks here. That's actually big because the spawn advantage is definitely in favor of, I mean, of Tater. Uh, ugh, I can't talk. Eclipsed. My bad. Uh, they have spawn advantage, so any kind of pick here is kind of big here. Yeah, I have to agree. I don't really think the Zen is going to be working on them unless they push him with the Transcendence, which it seems that they might, but considering he just got picked up, they won't be able to make that push. Yeah, I mean, if you're running the Zen, honestly, I think at that point you should be running Dive, especially Zen Ana. You should definitely be running the Dive at that point, so that you can Discord targets and leap onto them. Uh, yeah, with this tank lineup, I, I don't see it happening. We have like five holes for Eclipse right now. They yeah, a, they do, they and Nicolas is, yeah, is just popped. I mean, they have plenty of holes for both sides. Polish is going to be finding Snoops so with that Dragon Strike. Shatter coming down. Uh, they're not going to be finding anything, but the Flux is going to be finding a couple people in the sky. Ana gets dropped straight on her face and uh, falls over. And uh, that's just going to be the push. So they we can have to make some stagger. pushes still, they could do nano blade, that'll be big, but we also have to be aware of the Moira and the Raw. Yeah, that was a big stagger onto uh, Brow. Uh, I mean, he uh, he gets killed uh, as he's trying to back out, and I mean, th he's gonna have to take this long climb, and this team's just gonna have to wait for him. It's gonna make this push a little bit more delayed, so um, I mean, it's just any amount of time you can chew off the clock, is just huge for uh, Tater bots. I'm surprised to see them go this way, quite frankly. I've never seen anyone go this way before. Yeah, and they also use the Dragon Strike onto the point. It doesn't really find anyone, but it zones people out of the way for the blade to just go straight in there. And uh, Bullet is just going to fall over, and so is Wegzy. And then Mew is honestly pretty good with these blades. He keeps finding people over and over again. Oh my. Hello. Yeah. And you popped I, off. 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, he got four in that kill, but I mean, of course, you gotta, you gotta thank your support for the help as well, you know, the nano. Definitely got a lot more than he anticipated with the help of the nano. Yeah, and uh, I mean, they have three minutes to push this cart to this uh, to the end of this checkpoint. Uh, but I mean, that was a nice little hold from Taterbots. They're able to chew off so much time that um, it's it's really gonna be tough for uh, for them to finish this map without a uh, oh, there's the tea bag of the snoops. But yeah, it's gonna be tough for um, them to finish this map with a decent amount of time unless they can push this very quickly. But uh, here comes the dynamite, fire strike straight into the face of the people. The coalescence is going to be popped from both sides just to heal and do some damage. So, uh, I mean, it's just pretty much all evened up. And Bob is going to be thrown in. Bob is just going to counter the charge here. And, uh, you know, doing this stone in, trying to find this old charge. Uh, I mean, the neutral fight is looking pretty strong from Taterbots. Uh, no one really finding the advantage on the other. But that being said, Snoops is going to be in the back line, annoying the heck out of Wegty, and he's going to go down. Both supports are down. It's going to be tough for them to hold this without any heals. And, uh, that is a good push on their part. That Ana is just amazing with her heals. Yeah, I mean, you see Brow in the kill feed. Ana is just healing them up while Brow is just, you know, taking them out. Sigma just does so much damage with those orbs. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, agreed 100%. Um, those anties too and the nanos just amazing and on point. Especially the nanos on mute. It's, I mm -hmm. love to see them. Yeah, agreed. And I mean, Kaguya and Snoops just go in, but they die pretty fast. And uh, Mute's also going to get taken out. Uh, I mean, I guess it's okay since they capped and they got short spawn. But uh, anyways, here comes the blade from uh, Polish and the someone else gets the nano other than uh, oh, Big Brandis gets the nano. That's who got the nano. I was wondering who did that. I was. That's. I think um, their Ana missed the nano on mute. I believe. I'm not sure, but I honestly thought that that nano was gonna go towards me unless they missed it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, no, nah, um, they didn't use Nano yet for the side of Eclipse, uh, but, I mean, they're probably gonna use it right now. Yep, they use Nano onto the Rhine. Rhine's just gonna be the ultimate raid boss taking out Coco. He's kind of a, a beast right now, unstoppable. Like the also getting hit by the Fire Strike. Yeah, that's just gonna be a clean fight for him. I'm surprised to still see the Sombra. Greetings. Yeah, maybe she can build EMP here. I mean, she's very close. As long as they can stall right here and not all die instantly, it is winnable. But that being said, everyone is just kind of falling over. So, uh, I mean, I, it's going to be very tough for them to do anything about this. Sombra is not even going to get the EMP. She has to teleport back and Coalesce is going to be popped. Just trying to survive. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. Uh, I mean, they're just staggering on at this point. Unless someone can maybe find a pick onto someone, but it's not looking good. And uh, it's just a matter of time now before uh, Eclipse just takes this. I honestly oh. believe that the Sunbreak was just not the way to go for Yeah, I 100% agree here. Uh, I mean, they're going to have EMP actually. They, they managed to stall out for it, and here it is. Catches a couple people, but she instantly goes down, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, Genji's just gonna fall, and they cap with 42 seconds left. Good defense, but uh, ultimately they do cap. I do not believe that the summer was the way to go. There was no one there to um, cap on their EMPs. Like, I don't believe that was a good pick. Yeah, I 100% agree. I mean, honestly, to me, the play to go, since they had the Doomfist and the uh, Genji, honestly, I would say pick McCree because of the stun. Yeah, um, since no one was finding like anything from the EMPs, it would have been easier to, like, to just have a McCree, just for the stun and the Doomfist and the Genji definitely would have worked a lot better. Yeah, I mean, you could also consider, you know, maybe May, but... Um, yeah. 
I mean, McCree is a much easier, you know, uh, he, he has an easier time of dealing with them because the freeze just takes a little bit longer. You could just stun and headshot. I mean, uh, I mean, in any case, we're going to see the McCree actually from Snoops. Speaking of that. I feel like if they wanted to counter their Doofus and their Genji, they probably even could have gone a Brigitte. Yeah, Brigitte could have been the play as well. Uh, like, they had a Moira, right? Um, they... I think both teams had an Ana. No, a Moira, a Moira. Um, I'm not... I think, um, Wedzy was the Moira, if not... Yeah, I think they I think they both had Moira because uh, I, I remember seeing the Kami Kami yeah. Kami Hamehas <laughs> coming out from people. And yeah, uh, definitely. <laughs> I think I remember I think both had Moira. Yeah, I, I, I mean they you could have I mean that's a good Genji counter, but I mean you can't really deal with Genji on your own just as a Moira. You need help, which is why the McCree would would have been good for the stun. But in any case, here's the point. Mew is going to be taking uh, out Coco's mech, so they're going to have to fall back and uh, you know wait for everyone to come back. I mean, they do get rest, so I mean, it is very like possible they can just go in. That res probably could have been helpful to me, because they were so close to spawn, they did not need to use that res. Yeah, for sure. The Winston actually gets nanoed, and here comes the Shatter, actually catching a couple of people right there. And, uh, I mean, they're just gonna have to back up. They lose their Mercy and they lose their Genji. Uh, they need to get out without losing any more casualties. And, uh, yeah, there's the Sombra right there. Yet again, they have a Sombra. Yeah, that's gotta be a pretty big ultimate. I mean, the only thing that can counter it right now is the D.Va and, uh... Oh, no, there's plenty to counter it. I mean, you have D.Va, you have... You know, uh, Sombra, Genji, and the Sleep Dart, so I mean, it's gonna be tough for him to get any value, but he does! Wexy actually, gonna be taken out, um, but Maka is gonna be, you know, trading uh, it out, and they actually do res Wexy, so I mean, they're winning in the fight. They're up by one person, but Bullet is gonna be falling. Yeah, I don't know about this Nano, he doesn't have Blade. There is the blade actually by Mew, and he is gonna be popping off. Finds three in the fight. That's huge. That was huge. That definitely saved their point because Taterbot definitely had the advantage there with the res and the high noon out. So they definitely had the advantage to push in there, but um, Mew just popped his ult and just cleaned up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, oh, look at this. Snoops on the Soldier 76. What do you think about this pick? I'm not so sure. Not with the Soldier. Yeah, before you have time to even react, the EMP gets thrown in, and so does the bomb. But they just hide it in, uh, in the little shop here and just, you know, wait it out. That's. Uh, I don't know about that EMP. That was a very, very questionable EMP. more payoff if the immortality was not there, but at the same time there wasn't a lot of people there to catch the bomb, so at the same time the immortality was a little bit wasted because no one was there to catch a bomb. Yeah, I mean, I think honestly they should have pushed in more and then baited them onto point and then used the combo instead of just throwing it in there hoping it works, which it didn't. There needed to be a little bit more communication from the Sombra and the Diva. There was no one really there. As soon as the EMP went off, everyone scattered. So there was no mm -hmm. Yeah, Polish is on this Reaper. Um, interesting pick. I mean, you can do a lot of damage to the Sigma and the Rhine, but I mean, there's a lot to counter him here. Uh, Shatter comes down, doesn't find anything. A tactical visor is going to be thrown down, as well, as well as the Blade, actually. And uh, it's going to be tough for them to just stay alive on this point, especially with Mew and Snoops popping. I mean, it's just going to be hard. Uh, they, they invest B, they find a pick, and they find two, actually. It might be winnable if they can finish off uh, this. I mean, the EMP comes out. This is very winnable. 
if, if they can just find these picks here, but no, it's uh, all for naught. Yep, uh... I still stand by it. Songbird's not the pick here. Yeah, I mean, there's just so many heroes with mobility. Like Genji and the Baptiste has immortality and stuff. If he just hides it out, you know, the EMP is gonna do absolutely nothing. And they seem to not be there when the EMP is used in the first place. So they're not even there to, like, follow up on anyone. as well. There's like no communication from what I've seen. Like just the EMP just went off and the bomb came in but like no one was there because after the EMP went off everyone scattered and hid. So there was no synergy between that at all. Yeah I mean yeah I, I mean I hate to be like beating a dead horse but I feel like you need more CC for the Genji. Mm -hmm. uh, especially because you know of how much uh, Mute has been popping off. I mean, you just kind of have to, you know, it's just invest they, stuff into him. It's clear that they see that Mute is the problem, especially playing Genji, but playing a Sombra is definitely not the case, because he still has that mobility even when hacked. Unless you're, you know... I feel like Maka can do a lot more with the EMPs and the hacks. Like, I'm not sure what comms are like, but... Um, EMPs were questionable at best. I mean, they found the hacks and the EMPs went off. Like there was four plus people hacked, but um, no one there was, no one was there to clean up or act on the hacks. Yeah, I mean, we're giving a lot of credit to Mute, but I mean, we have to also look at the support line for Eclipse. Mm -hmm. They're just enabling him to pop off so hard, as well as the tanks creating mm -hmm. the space as well. Uh, yeah. I mean, just look at Mayani. Um, I, it, it's clear that you know their coordination with the nano blades is just on point right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. uh, it's gonna it's hard for a team to counter this without investing so much to just counter a single hero. Initiating match. Yeah. Um, Mayani definitely. I love the support. They're doing really, really good on support. Um, same with uh, Brantis. Like, everybody, like, the support lines are doing the best that they can, but Miami is just definitely um, outshining everyone in my own opinion. Yeah, for sure. I, I do like what McBrannis is doing as well, but I mean, Wexy is doing pretty well. But, I mean, like you said, uh, Miami is just absolutely, you know, head and shoulders above him right now. Wegzy's doing the best that they can. Like, it's clear that uh, Mac Brantis and Wegzy are doing all that they can. But um, with the DPS lineup that they've been running with Maka on the Sombra, it's just not working. Yeah, they don't have too much to not only put pressure on the Genji, but, I mean, the tanks are running the Sombra. The tanks are just having free reign to just take the space on them. Like, there's nothing to pressure the tanks. Nothing at all. Like the Sombra was just was a weird pick in the My beginning. Yeah, I mean it could work if you're running more dive, but they've been running double shield, which um I don't know. Oh, <laughs> Kaiga is actually in the back line. Uh, he was in this little room here, and he ends up pinning Wagsy as soon as they come by, and uh, Snoop's on the Ash taking out two people. I mean that <laughs> that's just a funny way to start off the match. Yeah, that is like um, I've seen that um, happen before uh, a few times, and it it is always a weird thing that happens. But it definitely does happen, and it does give me a really good laugh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, feel, I I mean, I feel like teams would just know to expect that at this point, especially if you see a Ryan, like, or just a single tank standing there. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty obvious to me. Yeah. Yeah, people are falling very low right now, and uh, Maka actually in the back lane, like you said, killing Snoops, and uh, Polish also getting mute, but I mean, their support also falls, the Grannis that is, and uh, it's gonna be tough to win without the Mercy, but I mean, they're, I mean, uh, Eclipse is down 2 DPS, so this is pretty, uh, pretty winnable. That was a huge anti onto everyone, it, could, it didn't allow them to push, uh, and Miami just pops the coalescence and finds one, uh, but uh, 
yeah, uh, they get the environmental pick, but I mean, they're just holding on to this point for so long. It's gonna be, uh, I mean, it's gonna be quite a while until they just give it up. I mean, unless they don't touch here. Are they not gonna touch? Please tell me. I was gonna say, please tell me they touch. I was gonna be a little upset if they didn't touch. Just for the contest. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Shatter is actually being used. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. That was a little questionable. Shatter could have been saved. Yeah, that, was, that was a bit ambitious of him, but uh... Mm -hmm. uh I mean, in any case, you still have plenty of ults to stop the snowball, but they're going straight to point. They think they can win this just straight up. Uh, they have the ults to do it, too. Here comes the Flux. That's, yeah, uh, they, and, but the beat is going to be dropped, saving everyone. Pin is coming out. Uh, Coco falling very low, but... I mean, they still have just so many ults to counter this. And as a matter of fact, uh, Nanoblade is one of them. And uh, Bullet is going to be taken down. And, uh, yep. There it is yet again. The Nanoblade combo saving the uh, Eclipse. I'm still super surprised to see the Sombra, honestly. It's just surprising to see. Um, I don't really see many Sombras up in, you know, tier 2, but... Yeah, and I mean, there's not really... There's not really much you can counter with the Sombra, though. I mean, you, yeah, you stop Genji from getting out, but who else do you stop? Maybe Brow, maybe Kaiga for the shield? But other than that, that's it. You can't really counter an Ana. Oh, 6-man EMP is actually pretty huge! And they actually take out two people. And Yanny is gonna fall as well. Yeah, they just need to take out Bob, though. They're definitely gonna have a contest here, though. Yeah, they don't have any more old, so I mean, you're building up to this Flux and the, uh, and the Amp Matrix, I mean, not Amp Matrix, the, uh, Amp, <laughs> just, just the Amp, the Beat Drop. Uh, they have point control, and I mean, all that's left is the Gravitic Flux, Tracer, and Moira. I mean, it's gonna be tough for them to even- Oh, right, actually, behind them, Shatters! And, uh, I mean, East comes in, and so does Brow. They actually win the fight. Wow. I'm, su I'm, I'm honestly surprised. I thought they were really going to win that. Um, with that EMP, that EMP was huge. They needed to act a little bit more faster on that Bob, because he was sitting there just completely contesting that point. Yeah, if, I think if they would have taken out Bob a lot faster instead of just kind of ignoring him, I think they would have capped. I mean, they're just so close to capping. Um, also, I'm pretty sure Brow Daddy was, um, got stunned out of his own ult. He got rocked by Bullet. Yeah, I didn't see that one, but I mean, I honestly he probably did. I didn't see the Flux, you know, make anyone fly. Uh, I mean, a couple of people taken out already on the side of, uh, Taterbots. They're just gonna have to back away, you know, the long walk of the feet. I mean, they can't, they can't afford for anyone to die here, and they need to regroup. Mm. Yeah, they definitely needed to regroup a little bit more because then the, they definitely could have saved the people that were there. Oh, there goes Tracer. And the pin on mute. I mean, it doesn't really matter because Tracer is just a really fast character and they have spawn. It's just, uh, that was just kind of funny, the pin on that to the rock. Well, I mean, they have a lot of ults to work with here. Plenty of... I mean, they have six, actually, so, I mean... They just gotta kinda go in there and not let them counter all their ults. Don't throw everything at once. Yep, and, uh... Yeah, the Coalescence and, uh, the uh, Rally was popped. And, uh, Fire Shark's being exchanged. Brow is actually getting the upper hand in the tank tool. Miami taking out Polish. And they have everything, and yet they just weren't able to turn this. this is my will. Hi. They only had used two ults, too, so they still have four. They can still push. They can push in with um, beats. They can even do an EMP, but they have to have everyone up there and to act on the EMP. I mean, you would think they would have invested Sound Barrier. 
um, to just get in there. Uh, well, just to keep the vine alive, but no, that didn't happen. Ooh, Brow Daddy actually hacked out of his EMP. I mean, Maka ends up falling, but uh, so they don't have an EMP to work with, but I mean, that, that is a pretty big old wasted right there. Ooh, everyone's falling though. Sound barrier use, and here comes the tire. They find the brig pick though. Uh, I mean, the spawn advantage is just so huge. And Brow Daddy is continuously finding these picks. EMP being used. Only find, well, actually, finds a lot of people, five people. But uh, Kaige and Brow are just gonna, you know, clean everything up, and that's gonna be it. Have a lot of value. Like there's four plus people getting EMP, but there's no one there to act on the EMP. So it's hard to find these picks when no one is there to help. Yeah, I mean, we saw the MP used effectively one time actually, uh, and that's how they got those ticks. But I mean, every round they've played so far with the Sombra. They haven't found any value out of the MP except for that one time. Mm -hmm. I have to agree. I'm going to be a little bit surprised if they do consider running it here. Yeah, especially on defense. I mean, you just have to run hit scan to just, you know, control the high ground and the and the uh, chokes right here. And yeah, they Mako's do commit to the ash. ash. And but Snoops is on the Widowmaker. Um... I, I think Ash is the superior pick, only because the sight lines aren't long enough for there to be too much fall off damage for Maka. So I mean, it's pretty much even in the fight. Plus, Maka shoots faster, anyways. Yeah, definitely. Um, Widowmaker has to charge up her shot to get a solid hit or to get that critical damage. But I'm pretty sure Maka's gonna do a lot more better on the Ash than the Sombra. It is definitely a better pick here. Bye. Mm -hmm, for sure. I mean, if this was Volskaya, maybe, the open sight lines, just, you know, long sight lines, you know, definitely Widow is the better pick, but, I mean, ooh. Yeah, I think he trapped him and hit him with the mine. Uh, yep, yeah, and there's Snoops, actually. I guess, uh, now he knows there's a Widow, so, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see if, uh, you know, if Maka plays a little more cautious now that he knows that uh, the Widow is just going to be hunting uh, his head. Yeah. If you feel like there's going to be a Widowmaker, especially when it comes to Snoops, I would definitely be all aware like, of your surroundings. You don't just want to be looking at one area, but finding the picks on Maka again definitely yeah. for them. Snoops is just uh, cleaning up Maka over and over again, and uh, the res actually does come through on the Maka. Snoops actually does find another pick. Uh, this widow is working. I mean, she. They are playing at a different, like, kind of angle here. They're playing more uh, with the team rather than on the high ground, and I don't think Maka was really expecting that. And um, you and the rest of the gang uh, just clean up point, and now they're capping. Maka actually got the pick on Snoops there, but Snoops has his sights. Um, Maka is close to Bob, but I would wait for Bob and be. To be put onto point just in case that they're gonna try that hardcore push. Yeah, uh, I mean, on the second point of Hanmora, however, I do think that the Widowmaker is at an advantage because the sight lines are a lot longer. And we'll see how that works. Polish, finding takes on to East, and here comes the Blade. Blade being popped, mute, finding one, finding two, and it's just absolutely popping. Maka, though. Yeah, uh, I mean, Brow is also just. You know, evening out things, you know, uh, but they're making their point presence known. The staggers, I mean, outside of respawns are going to be coming out, and there's just going to be no way they can sustain on this point. They're going to have to, uh, you know, back out here. Yeah, Snoops needs to back out. Uh, I mean, the fight was very winnable up until uh, Polish and uh, Bullet just found the picks. Uh, well, actually, Maka finding those two picks was pretty huge. Mm -hmm, definitely, but um, again, even with those two picks, um, yes. they did have that good hold there with the two picks at the same time. Oh, East getting taken, well, taking out Polish. Uh, the Ryan was just there, and I guess uh, Polish didn't expect that. And there's the rock, huge rock, 
Stunning, uh, stunning Brow out of the ultimate, out of the flux. Bob is being thrown on on point, uh, just trying to chip down people. Snoops finding the uh, Moira. So, I mean, everything's pretty much all even up. Maka finding Snoops, polish with the rip tire on the mute. They're going to be able to hold this yet again. No ticks. That's like, honestly, I think like the third, uh, second or third time that I've seen Brow Daddy being um, rocked in the face and stunned out of his ult. Yeah, I mean, his ults haven't been the best, but I think his neutral and uh, this, his picks have been so huge. Like, he hasn't really been doing much with the fluxes, but he's been finding these eliminations, though. Yeah, we see Genji and Reinhardt on mid. I've seen that they're going back over the rest of their team, which is probably a better idea than to just push down mid. But at the same time, it probably could have been a good thing that the two of them pushed down mid to get some of those people off the high ground. Yeah, I agree. They should have pushed down mid, especially since Coco is gonna have this, uh, is gonna have this, you know, hammer down, have a shatter. Both shatters are thrown in, and nothing happens. The co I mean, the beat drop is being dropped, and, uh, Mute is gonna be going in, killing a couple people, you know, here and there. And, uh, Blade is actually gonna come out, uh, but gets shot in the face by Maka. Uh, I mean, they're on the point. They could probably get a tick here. Yeah, they do get a tick. Rip tire being popped. Gonna find two people actually. They have a lot of time. They have two minutes and thirty-three seconds. So um, even finding that one tick, um, that is huge. That is progress. So the fact that they still have so much time. Um, yeah. I'm sorry. They do have plenty of. T they do have plenty of time here, um, I mean, they don't have really any ults to work with other than a Flux and High Noon coming up, which is a good combo, but I mean, they also have their own Flux and a Bob and a Coalescence and a, they have their Valkyrie, so I mean, it's just going to be tough for them to take this. Maka is going to be finding the pick, and the Flux is stunned yet again! Wow, that is insane. Um, the fluxes have just been huge, there just hasn't been a lot of value with the fluxes because they've just been stunned. Yeah, Mute's trying his hardest to just carry right here. Finding a couple people, but Bully is just going to be, you know, coming out on top here. Uh, they have the Lucy on point just trying to get out right now. Uh, ah, man, these fluxes. These fluxes are, like, they're not questionable. Like, they are definitely trying their best to get the picks off and then... Um, and such, but at the same time, they've just been getting stunned out of their ultimate, so it's very hard to find any value from either. Mm -hmm. Brow does have his flux still, and the high noon is up. I mean, they have so many ults now, uh, but so does Taterbot, so I mean, we'll see how they are able to counter what's going to be thrown right at them. Let's we'll see if the shatters actually connect onto something this time. Same position, we'll see who drops the shield and you know, messes up. Here comes the Flux. Uh, I mean, the back line is just going to get pinned. Oh, man, that is a huge pin and flank in the back line. Kaguya is going to be... Uh, going to be taking out three, sorry. Uh, Sneaks finding one with the Deadeye, and they cap. That's just the purpose they needed. Yep, the, the, the Flux that actually goes off, uh, you know, finds a lot of people, and, take, and they take out everyone. A lot of the fluxes again have been just completely shut down, but finally just the one that they needed to cut off finally got off, and that's what won them the game. Yeah, um, I mean, that's what, 3-0 to zero now for Eclipsed? Yeah, the series is over. Uh, but we do have another game to play, right? Another map? Okay, so we do have another map. It is three to zero for um, Eclipsed. So they end up winning the series. And uh, I mean, since the series is over, we can. Uh, I guess we could start talking about MVPs, but I mean that could change in the next map. Yeah, I, I want to wait till the game's completely over. Oh, there's Junker Town. Uh. uh Speaking of Junkertown, I mean, we were talking about 
Snoop's running the Widow, I mean, this is the perfect map to do it. Mm -hmm. mm, I, I'm not sure how... I'm, I'm kind of wondering how Taterbots is going to approach this, to be honest. Because uh, I, I think I know what Eclipse is going to be running. They're probably going to be running that double shield with uh, the Genji and the Widowmaker. I mean, it's just their bread and butter right here. Yeah. Um, is Crowder on... Wait a minute. Um, Crowder's on Eclipse. On... So is Crowder going in? I believe so. I'm just this looking at this match chat and I don't even know what's going on. Don't even know what to say. Uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of weird stuff like sour cream and onion. Yep. <laughs> what's your favorite chip? <laughs> if I mean, I Pringles, sour chip. cream, and onion. Mm. Mm, mm, now, now you got me. You got me there. Like those ones are really good. I have to agree. But have you tried? Isn't there like a pizza flavored? Pringles? Yeah, I, I tried those. Those were... I like them, but after I'm done eating like a, like a couple of them, I, f I feel like uh, I, a piece of crab for eating them. Why? I mean, like, it's like a... I hate saying it, and I hate admitting it, but like at the same time, I love eating them. They're one of my favorites. Yeah, I, I they're one of my favorites for sure, but for some reason it just gives me that feeling like, man, why did I do that to myself? It's okay. It's okay. It's good anyways. That's yeah. all that matters. <laughs> now, nah, controversial opinion, my favorite chip is uh, cheddar and sour cream from uh, Ruffles. <gasps> cheddar and sour cream? I love that. The Ruffles? Ruffles mm. are so good. Mm. Magnificent. Immaculate. Like, it's so good. All the five head words. <laughs> the five head? Um... Yeah, we do have Crowder coming in. He's uh, they're playing support. Uh, I'm wondering what they're gonna run because from the icons we can see that they have two Lucios. But I mean, uh, Miami is doing good on the uh, the Ana, so maybe Ana Lucio. Yeah, Ana Lucio might be a good pick here. Um, the Nanos for Mute or Snoops or absolutely anybody will be a, a huge thing for Eclipse Deer. I mean, uh, if they run the Widow, I don't know about Nanoed Widow. Oh, wouldn't that be a thing to see? That No, you know what I want to see? Boostio. <gasps> Boostio. 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 Just for the memes, just for the memes. <laughs> they already won, why not? Boostio. That would be so fun to see, honestly. I haven't seen that from anybody, not even in scrims. Like, it's. I really want to see it. Oh, in my scrims, whenever I played Ana one time, the Lucio kept stealing my nanos. Really? <laughs> yeah, every single time I, I, I'm like, okay, go in. I use nano, Lucio jumps in front, steals it. Oh my god, look at that. Just yoink my nano now. You can't have. And it happened one time on Oasis, and uh, I went for the Nano, and Lucio di didn't mean to do this, obviously, but they did it, and um, it, and the Genji just went in hoping to get Nanoed, and just instantly died. Oh, wow, really? Even with the Nano? No, no, uh, the uh, Genji died, my bad. Genji died. Ooh, really? Didn't get Nanoed because the Lucio stole it. Had anticipated that nano. He was so excited. He's like, I got this. I'm gonna pop off. And then, nope. Lucio's like, mine. Yeah, we were calling it out too, and I was very upset. <laughs> Man, I would be upset too, honestly. Like anticipating a nano. Like, okay, I got this, guys. I got this. Like, we're gonna win this point, and then, nope. It's a big slap in the face. Yeah, I mean, on my team, I mainly play just DPS, but um, I I do play support since that's my highest SR role. And my aim on Ana isn't the best, but I, I will say I make up for it in sleep darts. Uh, in one scrim, uh, we ran my Ana on Route 66, and I had like 14 sleeps in a match. Wow, really? 
I think like the most I've had in a game was maybe because um, I used to, I came from PC, so I think like the most in a game that I've had on console would probably be at least like 12, 13, I believe. Yeah, uh, I, I used to play on PC as well, which is why my account is only 58. It's not a Smurf account. Really? Um, yeah, it's not a Smurf account. I, I recently just got this on console. Yeah, like, uh, I've only been playing for a short amount of time on console. Same, and uh, I mean on PC, uh, I mean my main was support on Zen. I don't even remember. I haven't played PC in so long. I but I mean, my main, my main used to be Tracer, really? but you know, Brig was introduced. Yep, yep. <laughs> the Almighty and Goats was Brig. a thing. Yep, so I just goats. went. So I just went Zen. Yeah, Zen is a definitely a harder support to play, which I'm surprised to see Ooh, a Bastion coming from Crowder. What? Yeah, Crowder is going to be on the uh, DPS rather than the support, and Brow is also swapping over to support uh, if Snoop's on the tank, so we're getting a bit of uh, off-rolls here, uh, uh, it seems. But Mute is uh, still going to be Mute, and going to be taking out the Tracer, actually, as Genji. Um, we have Maka on the Sombra yet again. Hmm, I don't know. Yeah, they're getting plenty of picks, but they're just giving up so much room that, uh, you know, they're they, just pushing uh, yeah. Um, but I think it's because of spawn advantage as well. Mm -hmm, definitely. Fuck. Well, I mean, we have ults coming online, actually. We have, uh, Miami with the nano coming up, but no one to nano, really, because Bullet is gonna be finding Mute, and Crowder, hacked out of the sky, is gonna be taken out rather shortly by Polish. I feel like if they do a hard regroup, um, Miami and you can definitely do a combo up here. Um, even yeah. if they might, um, they could do a, a nano shatter as well. But I would like to see another nano blade. Those are always so fun to see. Yeah, and blade is actually coming online rather shortly. Uh, they're gonna have it, and um, I think they already know the coordination for this. But they do have a sound barrier to counter this, so uh, we'll see if they pop it as soon as they hear it. Yeah, Shatter might come down for it. We'll see. Oh, uh, Junkrat hacked. Uh, Maka is charging up that EMP pretty quickly now. Uh, almost have it, so maybe they can build it before they decide to use it. And uh, here comes the sound barrier, actually counters the blade, and they're also get flexed straight into the air, uh, so, I mean, that's that, and, uh, Crowder, though, finding a lot of picks, Miami. Yeah, they also EMP'd. No one could capitalize, though, because everyone was so low that it just kind of fell over as soon as the EMP was used. Again, Maka with the EMPs, like, it's not like the EMPs are not getting any value when it comes to the EMP going off, but they're not getting any value when it comes to the team coordination. So if they want to have a big EMP, they need to have their players all over there. There needs to be more coordination when it comes to that. Yeah, Coco tries to get very aggressive uh, onto Kaguya because Kaguya is just pushing up on him. Uh, he falls very low, but McBranis actually kills uh, Kaguya. Uh, so, I mean, it's just not gonna... You know, it, that wasn't very good. I don't know how smart that play was, but... Uh, I mean, they're still pushing cards, so I guess it wasn't too bad. Oh, Riptire behind! Oh, Actually gets it. taken out by Maka. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was a heads-up play by Maka, but also, uh, credit to uh, Polish, uh, actually dove straight onto uh, Crowder to also help take out the Riptire and him as well, so... Both uh, DPS with the heads up play right there. Uh, however, Maka does fall to the Rhine, swinging the hammer. So, uh, yeah, the Coalescence is being popped. And I'm assuming Nanoblade is going to be thrown in right now. And here it is. Yep, finds two people. Yep, finds two people actually, so, I mean, huge. Uh, 
the blades have been so nice from um, you and, you know, of course, Miami. Huge uh, coordination right there with the nanos. Yeah, I think if they. Oh, yeah, I think if they coordinated the shatter with the EMP, you would find so much more value. But like Maka uses the EMPs when no one's alive or when no one is there to follow up, so they just get no value. Absolutely none. But Maka has their EMP again, so they could possibly do EMP shatter. They could do EMP blade, like even EMP grab, because grab's about to come online too, sitting at ninety percent. Yeah, you could definitely grab first and EMP to ensure that your team follows up uh, and gets the kills. But they're spawn camping very hard right now, so it's going to be hard for them to even push. Uh, I'm assuming Maka is going to just try to find a, the other way, the other door out of spawn. Um, Yep, the Rift Tires used behind yet again, finds Bullet, and uh, EMP has popped, finds a couple of people, uh, such as Snoops, but I mean, yet again, no follow-up. I mean, Coco gets one, but, um, I mean, it, I guess it did enough, but, because, uh, yeah, but the, I think it was also because the respawns are just so good for Taterbots that it didn't really matter if the EMP you know, killed three people. All they needed was just a solid pick onto someone uh, to stop it. Oh, here's the Ant Matrix uh, being thrown out. They're gonna have to hide around this corner right here for a little bit to ensure that no one dies. Wegzy falling very low because of that Ant uh, Fire Strike. Gonna have to get healed and hide. Nano Blade coming down, answered by the grab. And the beat drop, so uh, Nano Blade for once doesn't find any value. Counter grab coming in. They oh, they cap! The, the grab off the point was huge. It was very huge. Score. <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna be the way it ended, but it, there it is. No, I did not anticipate it that at all. Initiating. But that's Especially what they did because. And I got it. Yeah, especially because Polish popped the blade and I thought, you know, maybe they have a chance here, but, uh, no. Mm -mm. They just hardcore pushed and that grab was some, what gave them, a, um, gave them that push? Yeah, well, I also didn't point this out earlier, but Bullet is on, uh, support and Wegzy is on tanks, so they're swapping roles here. So used to seeing Wexy on the Lucio and such and such, like, and Polish is on the Widowmaker. Let's see how this one turns out. Attackers yeah, you have the, uh, the top spawn. Uh, you could also grapple onto the roof here. I mean, there, there's a lot of places, plus the sightlines are so long that, uh, I mean, you're just gonna, you're gonna have high ground control and, you know, all these sites to just work with. As long as the uh, shot doesn't get deflected straight into the face. There's a lot of voice lines going on over here from Mute. Yep. Ooh, they have a Roadhog, Snoops. Ooh, I'm excited to see this one. I haven't seen um, a Roadhog from Snoops or at all. This I mean, Ro game. <laughs> yeah, Roadhog is kind of notoriously pretty bad uh, right now, so um, it'll be interesting to see what they are able to do with it. I don't anticipate Roadhog getting too much value, but I mean, already doing some work with the shield break. Um, you killing Polish. They might want to switch off um, the Widowmaker there because that Genji's just gonna hardcore. Yeah, I would recommend switching to either um, Hanzo or McCree because you have the mobility to escape Genji, uh, or you could just stun him and kill him. Or like Tracer works. I mean, they have a lot to deal with this uh, Genji. You have the Brig and the Moira, and you also have Mako. You know, clicking the heads. You know, just. Um, 
Yeah, and uh, there goes the charge straight onto the Rhine. Yep, and uh, I mean, he's gonna fall very low, but he actually comes back and shatters. He catches almost everyone. Uh, they're gonna be able. They're gonna be able to follow up on a couple of these here, but uh, Polish uh, is gonna be finding a pit. Yep, the is popped. Yep, it doesn't find anyone, but it just instantly takes them out. And uh, they end up going in with a Coalescence. Dragon Blade popped as well. Uh, splits up the team straight in half, which is actually a pretty smart play, but they're not able to capitalize on this. Uh, Kai uh, Kagia, I don't know what he's doing. He's kind of behind them. Interesting, uh, interesting defense. I don't know what Kagi is trying to do here, to be honest. A polish huge pulse bomb on him, but that's gonna get rid of us pretty quickly. Oh, he didn't even touch point. Eee, that's gonna be a big stagger. That is a huge stagger. Yeah, but you really have no shield to protect him. All you have is the Mercy and the Immortality Field. Oh, here comes the shield, actually. Yeah, you're going to be able to find some value. Uh, actually, you're taking on Maka here. Mew is actually doing pretty well on this Widow. He's finding a couple of picks here. He's doing the damage, and that's what needs to happen. Yeah, he's not... I, I didn't haven't seen any headshots, but he's doing the damage to just pressure him into... Uh, corners and not taking those sight lines. Crowded behind them, actually, and he, you know, just finds so many picks. Uh, dies to polish, but gets rezzed. He's in this corner. This is such BM. This is really, like, um, really bad on their part. And considering that they're coming back up this way, that's just gonna be, like, a far. Oh, much. no. I think Coco saw them. <laughs> and Bastion instantly melts him, and actually melts the Maka out of Snowball, I think. I, no, I hear it going off. It went off, it caught Snoops, but it landed down by the payload, so it didn't have <clears> any value. Yeah, that is uh, rather unfortunate. I would honestly push the low ground if I were them. I don't know why they're still trying this. Yeah, they only have Pulse... Well, actually they have uh, four ultimates here, so they could do something, but at the same time, like, it's going to be a little bit difficult with the yeah, there's a huge anti-nade actually. Uh, Shatter being thrown in doesn't really find anything. Polish actually uh, taking out the immortality field, enabling Bullet to uh, finish up these picks. Uh, I mean, they're just cleaning everyone up. I mean, he's still a mute in the background, but he should be taken out rather quickly. Wegzy with the 3k. Nice. I make it a 4k. Yeah, I don't think they can really recontest, yeah. I mean, they might try. Ooh, that's a nice sleep. That's gonna stop the recontest. Oh, unless. But they don't have the Mercy yet, or the Bastion. Oh, they almost C9'd. 0 0.09. I mean, they're probably gonna win- oh no, Coco popping. Uh, I was going to say, they might win this fight, but, uh, I mean, this could be anyone's fight. Crowder coming in with the tank and just absolutely destroying right now. Yep. Wow, that was uh, a really huge thing for Crowder to do. Like, he found those two picks and that just completely stopped. Yeah, they Polish is also going to get staggered. Push it far enough, all you really have to do is, I would send the nano in on the tracer, honestly, because they're gonna have pulse bomb, but I would use the pulse bomb on the grav. Yeah, a hundred percent. I think that's a good combo. Uh, you might not even need uh, nano. polish to get nanoed. You could honestly just nano um, Wegzy himself, as long as they build up the uh, charge on the bubbles, that's which it looks like uh, it looks like they're building up quite well. 
That Matrix comes out. That is disgusting. Uh, oh, nice shatter actually from Coco uh, from uh, Kakia. Uh, gets taken out, and actually a huge pulse bomb taking out two people. The Mercy and the Bastion combo. That is a nice little combo from Polish. Maka cleaning them up. That's the push that they needed there. Um, the grab was a little bit wasted because uh, Polish didn't use the pulse bomb on there, but immortality was out, so it was just it would have been all for naught anyways. Look at this tank line from uh, Eclipsed. That's uh, a little different. I've never seen that that is a that's a tank line. Um, I Crowder going behind, trying to sneak, with the tracers on him. Oh, no, 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 they switched to Winston Ryan. <laughs> 60 seconds, Alright, so, I mean, they only have a minute here, so they're definitely, for sure, not going to get a better time. And, I mean, if Crowder keeps doing this, they might not even push it to the end. Uh, I mean, he's consistently finding 2Ks uh, in, in these fights. Snoop's cleaning them up on the Rhine. This, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to push this any further, especially with Crowder. He has his ult, Mew has their ult, uh, Miami has hers. Um, we don't the have only way any tank points, though. Yeah, the only way I see uh, Taterbots winning this is if they manage to kill... Uh, ooh, Wegzy eating Mute's, uh, Mute's Pulse Bomb, so that that's a start. I mean, if they can kill off one of the, uh, you know, maybe my, uh, Miami, which they do, they can just throw in Blizzard and possibly just win this fight straight up. Yeah, they do touch. Nice, nice pulse bomb. And there's the uh, finish right here. They should be able to clean these two up. And as long as they don't see Nina, as long as Winston doesn't kill anyone, this is going to be a very close. Yeah, this is going to be very close. This could be anyone's fight. It's all coming down to the end. You got the tank form and primal. I mean, it's all coming down to the very end. Bullet is going to be killing one, though, so that's a start. Killing both supports. Oh, no, that's going to be it. Both supports are down. They can't stay on the point forever. Yeah, bomb's not going to find anything. Both should sandwich it. And that is going to be all... That is Eclipse wins four to zero. Wow, that was a tough game for Trader Boss right there. Yeah, I mean it's I don't know. It, it was tough. I, they just kind of just from the start just ended up on starting on the wrong foot, really. No one Getting uh, yeah, hundred to zero on one point of Li Zhang is tough for anyone. not finding any uh, value. The EMPs were finding like three plus people, even four people, maybe even more than that, but at the same time no one was there because either everyone died or no one was there to help out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, <clears throat> now is the time to discuss MVPs. And uh, I think I know who two of my MVPs are going to be. I think I know two of mine personally. <laughs> um, you go no, first, whatever. I want to hear yours. Well, in my uh, opinion, since we have to give one to uh, the losing team, mm -hmm. I think Eclipsed, uh, Miani, and Mute. I was the DPS the same and support. Thing. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, and for tank on uh, Taterbots, I mean, I would give it to Coco. Uh, Coco. I mean, Bullet did good, but I mean, uh, Brow just outclassed him on the Sigma hard. Whereas uh, Kakia and Coco, it was actually a pretty close Rhine duel. It all it just really came down to uh, DPS difference, yes. in my opinion, and support difference. Yeah, definitely. Well, I agree with you on that. Uh, I do agree with the DPS being mute and the support being Miami and the tank being. Um, Coco, yes. I do believe, like, um, all of those are really good picks, 100%, but as you said, um, Rao was just completely, um, dogging on Bullet there with the, 
the um, Sigma alts and everything is just like the alts just got cancelled. It was hard for any yeah. to happen. Both Sigmas got their alts cancelled like a million times, but I mean, oh, yeah. Brow was just killing like a lot of people in the neutral, which is why mm -hmm. I can't give it to Bullet. So I, I, I mean, by default, I just kind of have to give it to Coco. Yeah. So Coco for tank, mute for DPS, and support for my Miami. Miami. And uh, yeah, that is going to be all for the broadcast. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, our commentary and the games that <laughs> occurred. Uh, this has been CB and Lady of Sirens, and that's going to be all.